85 years out of date and deadly. That's what one community has to say about the guardrails on nine different bridges. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Scott. Now, after a cake on your side investigation, the state is moving up plans to fix those bridges. Cake News investigator Pilar Pedraza joins us now with this follow up. Pilar. Well, David, when we first brought you the story last spring, the state said it had plans to fix two of the nine bridges in question down in Comanche County. But according to a statement we got from the Department of Transportation this morning, work is getting started on all nine now. I think this is, I would call this a killer post, yes. Robert Green's son died on this small two-lane highway in Comanche County, Kansas, back in 2006 while crossing the bridge here. Police reports indicate he fell asleep, drifted across the center lane, and ran straight into the guardrail. This is one of nine bridges in the county with these solid concrete guardrails that date back to the 1930s. We've lost six of our residents in my lifetime. The first one I remember was a second cousin who was killed by hitting one of those bridges when I was in college. Dave Webb with the Protection Press teamed up with Robert and another local paper, the Western Star, trying to bring the issue to the attention of someone in the state who could change these old guardrails for more modern ones with a little give to them and maybe a shoulder. Last spring, the state told us only two bridges in Comanche County out of nine were slated for the improvement starting in 2024. Then a few weeks ago on a couple of trips to Coldwater on two successive days, I saw KDOT surveyors working on the stretch of US 160-183 east of protection. So we asked the Department of Transportation in this email. KDOT said it is now in the design phase of improving the nine bridges with blunt ends in Comanche County, adding there will be a total of five separate projects to address all the locations with anticipated work taking place from late 2024 through 2026. I was really pleased where we uh, were glad that uh, after 85 years, these these bridges are going to uh, be upgraded. I know that uh, a couple of small newspapers, uh, of course we had the help of Cake TV, uh, can't necessarily move a state bureaucracy, but on the other hand, uh, we, we were we were very happy that it looks like something is finally going to be happened to these dangerous bridges. Sadly, Robert Green did not leave to see the success of this project. He passed away earlier this fall. The nine bridges in Comanche County with these concrete guardrails are out of 70 statewide. In the email from KDOT, it, the department said it plans to replace all of them by 2030. Pilar Pedraza with this Cake News Investigates follow-up.